Identify an appropriate site for an injection. Expose the upper posterior arm three inches below the shoulder and three inches above the elbow. To locate injection sites on the thigh, have the patient sit. Then, draw an imaginary line above the knee and below the uppermost part of the thigh. Then down the outer side and the center front of the leg. The area within these imaginary lines is where injections may be given. Another way to think of it is in the middle third of the lateral aspect of the upper leg. To locate injection sites on the abdomen, draw an imaginary line below the lower ribs as far around as you can pinch up fatty tissue folds. Abdominal injections must avoid a one inch area around the navel. Loosen the cap on the needle so that you'll be able to open it with one hand once you clean the injection site. Open the alcohol wipe. With the thumb and fingers of your non-dominant hand, grasp the tissue of the patient's posterior upper arm, pinching up the area to create a tissue fold. Cleanse the patient's skin with the alcohol wipe, using a circular motion and moving outward from the center. Use some friction to help clean the site. Create about a two inch circle at the site. Let the site dry. With the index finger and thumb of your non-dominant hand, pinch up the skin at the cleansed area. Pick up the syringe and tip it to remove the cover. Grasp the syringe in your dominant hand. Use your thumb and index finger. Make sure to have no fingers under the syringe. Quickly and smoothly insert the needle into the site using a 45 or 90 degree angle depending on the needle size. Insert the entire needle. Make sure the needle tip is not pointed towards your non-dominant hand to lessen the needle stick risk. After the needle has been completely inserted into the skin, release the skin that you are grasping. Use your dominant hand to stabilize the syringe area closest to the skin so that the needle does not move during administration of the drug. Your non-dominant hand should push the plunger to inject the medication at a rate of one milliliter over 10 seconds. Ensure all of the medication has been injected before pulling the needle out at the same angle. Activate the needle safety device with one hand while the other hand covers the site with gauze or a cotton ball. Gently apply pressure at the site to stop any bleeding. Apply a bandage if the patient requests it. Remember that some bandages may contain latex, which can be an allergen to some people. Some people may be allergic to the adhesive. Discard the needle and syringe in a biohazard sharps container. Make sure to put the needle in first. Observe the patient for any adverse reactions. Clean up the area. Discard all waste, including your gloves, in the biohazard waste container. Sanitize your hands. Document the procedure in the health record. Include assessments done, patient allergies, teaching or instructions provided, the provider ordering the medication, the medication name, dose, route, and how the patient tolerated the medication. Also include the manufacturer, lot, and expiration date for vaccines.